All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Jen. I'm looking forward to guiding you through your practice today. Thank you so much for joining me on your mat from home or wherever you're practicing right now. Before we get started, if you like to use um, foam blocks like this or maybe even a large book or something like that to help bring the floor a little closer to you, especially during forward folds, um, you may want to grab those so you have them handy. And also, we'll be using a blanket or maybe a large beach towel, um, especially in our opening shape. So take a moment to grab those things and then we will get started. Okay, so if you have your blanket or your towel, we're just gonna begin by rolling it into a shape, something like this, and then we'll place it towards the top third of our mat. And then we'll just slide around, we'll plant our feet on the floor and use our hands to help lower ourselves down onto our backs. And we wanna feel that blanket resting just below the tips of the shoulder blades. And then we can bring our arms out to a T-shape or a cactus, whatever feels most comfortable for your shoulders today. And then I'll invite you to place the feet in the legs somewhere comfortable for you. So maybe that's walking the feet out to the outer edge of your mat and letting the knees drop in towards one another. Perhaps it's bringing the soles of the feet together letting the knees fall open wide in that Supta Baddha Konasana shape, maybe even using the blocks underneath the knees or the thighs for a little support. Or maybe it feels best for your body today just to extend the legs long towards the front edge of your mat. And wherever you are, we'll gently close our eyes and begin to pay attention to our natural rhythm of breathing. Just noticing the rise and fall of the belly and chest as you inhale and exhale. We'll begin to leave the busyness of the day so far or your to-do list for the rest of the day outside of the room. And I'll invite you to take a long, slow, deep breath in, pausing for a moment taking a long, slow, deep breath out. Allowing the breath to melt away the tension, softening the space between the eyebrows, letting the jaw and the cheeks relax, and feeling the body rest heavily into the mat supported by the earth beneath you. We'll take another long, slow, deep breath in, Hold it and exhale just as slowly, emptying the lungs completely. Take a third deep breath in, take your time, hold it for a moment and let go. Continue to breathe slowly and gently, allowing the tension to melt away I read this quote that I thought was kind of timely considering the life or the world that we're living in today that I'd like to share with you. Live in the uncertainties, my dear. Invent little moments inside those maybes and grow there. To allow our breath to return to our natural rhythm of breathing. We'll gently roll over to one side so we can slide the blanket out of the way. We'll hug both knees in towards the chest, giving them a little squeeze, maybe rocking a little from side to side, massaging the spine. Bringing the chin to the chest, the forehead to the knees, giving ourselves a little hug. We'll release the head back down to the mat, release the feet to the floor. All right, so we're gonna plant our hands down 
onto the mat next to the hips. The fingertips will be spread to a comfortable distance. We're gonna keep our feet planted on the mat, the knees facing up towards the ceiling. And we wanna feel the big toe mound in the pinky toe side of the foot and the heel and the ball of the foot all pressing into the earth. You wanna feel the legs active and the belly is engaged, the navel's pulling to the spine. We're just gonna take a low, gentle bridge here. So pressing the hands and the feet into the earth, we're going to lift the hips off the mat rolling the sternum towards the chin. We'll slowly release the hips back down to the earth. We'll take an inhale, and on an exhale, we'll lift the hips again, rolling the sternum towards the chin. Let's slowly roll the hips back down to the earth, Extend the arms out to a cactus or a T-shape. Take a breath in, and on your breath out, we'll let the knees gently fall over to the right. And then we'll come back through center, and gently let them fall over to the left. Coming back through center, let's take that one more time on each side. Letting the knees fall over to the right. Coming back through center, and we'll let them fall over to the left. And coming back through center. Let's extend our legs long, toes pointed towards the wall in front of us, bringing our arms overhead, extending the fingers back towards the wall behind us, reaching, feeling some nice length in the spine, taking a nice full body stretch here, maybe rocking a little bit from one hip to the other. And we'll hug those knees in towards the chest one more time. Bring the chin to the chest, forehead to the knees. Making a tight little ball. We'll lower the feet and the head back down to the mat and gently roll over to one side. We'll press ourselves up to a seated position. So we're gonna take a comfortable seat here. I find that it's easier to sit up nice and tall if I sit on a little height. So you may wanna try that with your blanket or your towel. You can just fold it up and use it as a little cushion. We'll start by sitting up nice and tall and feeling our sits bones weighted equally into the earth. Feel some nice length from the back, through the back body, from the tailbone all the way up the spine through the crown of the head. I'm feeling those shoulder blades together and down the back, maybe like we're trying to pinch a little pencil back there. And we have equal length in all four sides of the neck, maybe slightly tucking the chin, so we have some length in the back of the neck. Take an inhale and we'll sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, we'll gently float the fingers to the earth. Take an inhale, we'll sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's open those arms up to a cactus shape. The back of the palms are facing towards the back of the room. We're gonna take an inhale and on an exhale, we're gonna bring the elbows, forearms, palms together. Inhale, we'll open. Exhale, we'll close. Inhale, we'll open. Exhale, we'll close. And one more time, big inhale, opening the arms. Exhale, we close. Gently release the hands to the knees, palms face down. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. And just gently nodding the head, yes. Shaking the head, no. And we'll come to stillness. And we're going to kind of imagine that the tip of our nose is like the tip of a pencil. And we're just gonna draw some big circles going first in one direction.
And then we'll reverse and go in the other direction. And coming to stillness, let's wake up those shoulders a little bit. So we'll bring the shoulders up towards the ears, press them towards the wall behind us, and allow them to slide down the back. And one more time, we'll bring them up towards the ears, press them towards the wall behind us, and allow them to slide down the back. This time we're gonna bring them up towards the ears, press the shoulders forward, gliding them down the front of the body. Bringing the shoulders up towards the ear, press them towards the wall in front of us, and allow them to glide down the front of the body. Let's plant the fingers down onto the mat. We'll bring our right hand behind the head, pressing the back of the head into the palm. Let's extend the left arm up, bicep in line with the ear. The pinky finger is forward, the thumb is back. We're gonna press the right elbow back, press the head gently into the palm. And then we're just going to hinge over. Take a breath here. We'll release the right hand to the earth, crawl the fingers out, stretching a little bit deeper, keeping both sits bones planted on the mat. Feeling a nice lateral stretch here in the side body. And we'll come back through center. We'll place the left hand behind the head pressing the back of the head into the palm, reaching the right arm up, pinky finger forward, thumb back, pressing the left elbow back towards the wall behind us, and keeping both sits bones planted on the earth, we'll hinge over to the left. We'll release the hand to the mat, and crawl the fingers over, bending into the elbow, just getting a little bit of a deeper stretch here. And let's come back through center. Okay, we're going to come on to our hands and knees now. So if you know that you have a little sensitivity in the knees and you like a little cushion, you can take your handy blanket that we've been using, unfold it to this larger shape, and spread it across the center of your mat. And we're gonna come into our tabletop position. So we'll take a moment just to set this up so let's start by spreading our fingers to a comfortable distance. And our wrists are gonna be underneath our shoulders. Knees will be hip width distance apart. And we want to really have a nice square back. We wanna take out any sway in the low back. So feel the navel pulling towards the spine. The pelvic bowl is moving in towards the, rolling in towards the low ribs. And we want equal length in all four sides of the neck. So our gaze is coming just to the top of our mat here. And on an inhale, let's sweep the right arm up. We'll dive it underneath the body, releasing the shoulder and the head to the mat. And we'll come back through, planting the right hand back on the mat. We'll lift that left arm up, diving in underneath the body. Releasing the shoulder and the head to the mat. Let's come back through. Let's double check that our wrists are underneath our shoulders. The belly is engaged, navel's pulling to the spine. And we'll take a few rounds of our cat-cow. So on an inhale, the sits bones lift, belly drops, heart glides forward. On an exhale, we'll tuck the tailbone round into the spine, chin to the chest. Inhale, sits bones lift, belly drops, heart glides forward. Exhale, we'll tuck the tailbone round into the spine, chin to the chest. And one more time, inhale, sits bones lift, belly drops, heart glides forward. Tuck the tailbone, round into the spine, chin to the chest, really pressing the earth away, arching the back. And we'll come back through center into our tabletop. Checking to see that the belly is engaged. Pubic bone is moving towards the low ribs, so we're taking out all the sway in the low back. 
We'll extend the right leg back behind, the toes on the mat, pressing out through the heel. The outer hip will drop, the inner thigh will lift. We'll step the left foot back to meet the right, coming into our plank. We want to feel that space between the shoulder blades puffing up a little as we're pushing the earth away. Heels are moving towards the wall behind us. The belly is engaged. And we'll breathe here. One, two, three. Now we can keep our knees up or our knees down. We're gonna bring the elbows straight back and lower ourselves all the way down to our bellies. Let's just let our forehead rest on the mat for a moment. You can turn your ear to one side or the other if that's more comfortable. And we're just gonna start by paying attention to our feet. So let's feel the big toe side and the pinky toe side of the foot pressing into the earth. The legs are active and strong. The belly is engaged, the navel's pulling towards the spine. We'll just look up slightly at the top of our mat and allow our fingers to come up to the top. And the elbows will come underneath the shoulders. Forearm will be parallel to the edge of your mat. We're gonna keep pressing the feet into the mat. The legs engaged, belly is strong. The sternum and head will lift, coming into our sphinx pose. Slowly lower ourselves back down. We're gonna cross the, fold the left arm in front of us to make a little pillow for the head and release the forehead to the arm. Bend in to the right knee, foot's coming up towards the ceiling. We're really gonna press that left hand and forearm into the mat as we sweep the right hand back behind, seeing if we can make a connection with the foot. The sternum is lifting. We're really pressing the earth away with the left palm and forearm. We'll gently release the bind. And we'll switch, making a pillow with the right forearm. We'll release the forehead down. Take a bend into the left knee and begin to press the right hand and forearm into the mat as we lift the head and sternum and sweep our left hand back behind. The gaze will come forward. We're really pushing the shin towards the wall behind us, the foot into the hand. Gently releasing the bind, releasing the foot to the floor. Plant our palms and just press ourselves up and back. Big toes together, knees open wide. We'll sink our hips back towards our heels. Belly and chest moving towards the mat. Releasing the forehead to the mat. If that's a little much for your shoulders today, you can always use a block or your blanket and place that underneath the head. If you're using a blanket or a block, let's slide that out of the way. Bring our gaze up slightly towards the top of the mat. We'll crawl our fingers forward. And then we'll walk them over to the right. Allowing the belly and chest to come back towards the mat, releasing the forehead. And we'll come back through center. Crawl them forward just a little bit more, re-lengthening the spine. And then we'll walk them over to the left. Then we'll come back through center. And press ourselves back up into that tabletop position. Again, we'll be here for just another few minutes, so feel free to take a moment to unfold your blanket. 
and use that for your cushion. So we'll double check that our wrists are underneath our shoulders, our knees are hip width distance apart, the belly is engaged, and the neck is long. Let's extend that right leg back behind, plant the toes on the earth, feel the outer hip drop, inner thigh lift, really press the heel back. We're gonna take an inhale, and on an exhale, we're gonna lift the heel up towards hip height. The toes will be pointed down and slightly in. We'll extend the left arm long, bicep in line with the ear, pinky finger down, thumb up. Let's take a bend into that right knee. Foot is pressing up towards the ceiling. We'll see if we can sweep the left arm back behind. We can plant the hand on the sacrum, or maybe we can make a connection with the foot. If we've made a connection with the foot, the knee's gonna drop in towards midline. Back of the thigh is lifting towards the ceiling. Our sternum is lifting, our gaze is forward, really pressing the hand into the foot. Gently, we'll release the bind. Return the hand and the knee back to the mat. Let's just sit back on our heels for a moment. Maybe give those wrists a little break. Maybe we make a few circles. Maybe we pull the fingers back towards the face a little. Give them a little shake. And let's come back forward. This time we're gonna extend the left leg back behind, toes on the earth. Feel that outer hip drop, inner thigh lift, belly's engaged. And we'll lift the heel up towards hip height. The toes are down and slightly in. We extend the right arm forward, bicep in line with the ear. And this time we'll bend into the left knee. Foot's coming up towards the ceiling. Back of the thigh is lifting. We'll sweep that right arm back behind. Maybe we plant the hand right here on the sacrum, which is perfect. Or maybe we see if we can make that hand-to-foot connection. Pressing the foot into the hand. The heel up towards the ceiling. We'll release the bind. Return the hand and the knee to the mat. This time, let's keep our knees together and we'll sink our hips back, releasing the belly and chest onto the thighs. And we can walk our hands forward towards the top of the mat, or maybe we release the forehead to the mat and bring the hands back by the heels, palms face up. Let's walk the hands forward. Come back into all fours. We'll tuck the toes, lift the knees off the mat, the hips up and back, coming into our downward dog. And we'll take a moment, bend into one knee and then the other. Feeling the hips move up and back. The heels moving towards the earth. Let's just take as many steps as it takes to walk the feet up towards the hands, keeping a nice generous bend in the knees. We'll slowly roll all the way up to standing. Sweep the arms together over the head and exhale hands to heart center. Let's just take a moment here to come into our mountain pose. So we wanna have our feet about hip width distance apart and again, we wanna feel all four sides of the feet pressing into the earth. So the big toe mounds, the pinky toe side, the ball of the foot, the heel of the foot. We wanna feel that all grounding into the earth. And the legs are active and engaged. The belly is strong. The pelvic bowl is tilting forward. Pubic bone moving towards the low ribs. So we're standing up nice and tall. Shoulder blades are together and down the back. And we have equal length in all four sides of the neck. We'll clasp the hands together behind the back. And let's just press those knuckles gently towards the earth as the hip points move forward and the sternum lifts, taking a gentle back bend. 
We'll come back forward. Let's take a bend into the knees and begin to hinge forward. And we can keep those hands resting on the sacrum, or if we have the space, we can begin to lift the hands up towards the ceiling, keeping a generous bending in the knees or straightening into the legs. Let's release the hands to the sacrum, hands to the hips. We'll slowly rise back up. Inhale, we'll sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, we'll fold. On an inhale, we'll come halfway up. And exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, we'll sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, we'll come halfway up. Exhale, we'll fold. And on an inhale, let's sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's close the eyes. Take a couple of breaths here. Bring our hands to our hips. The legs are active and engaged. Navel's pulling towards the spine. The belly is engaged. From here, we're gonna take a giant step back with the left foot, landing on the ball of the foot. And we kind of want our feet to be sort of like we're on railroad tracks right now. So the hips are gonna be facing the front of your mat. And the right hip's pulling back, left hip is pressing forward. We're gonna take a deep bend into the front knee and just take a peek to see that the knee hasn't gone past the ankle. So if it has, we're gonna widen our stance just a little bit. Scooch the back foot back. And we wanna feel the back of the thigh lifting towards the ceiling. And the right femur really pulling back into the hip socket. Pubic bone is pulling towards the low ribs. And the shoulder blades are together and down the back. We can keep our hands right here on our hips or maybe we sweep them forward and up, pinky finger in, thumb out. Coming into our crescent pose. We'll release the hands to the hips. Take an inhale, not an exhale, let's just straighten into that front leg. And we'll bend back into the knee and straighten. Let's bend back into the knee and straighten. And one more time, we'll take a nice deep bend in the knee. And we'll take a little twist here, the left arm forward, right arm back, opening our heart up to the side wall. Bringing both arms back forward, releasing our hands to our hips and we'll step the back foot up to meet the front. Maybe we give those legs a little shake, sway our arms a little from side to side. Check to see that our feet are about hip width distance apart, belly is engaged, we'll take a deep bend in the knees, bringing the fingertips all the way to the earth. And we wanna feel the toes light, the weight coming back towards our heels. We're trying to sit back in a seat Keeping the belly nice and strong, we're gonna sweep the arms forward. Utkatasana. We remember to breathe. Release the hands to the hips and rise back up to standing. Inhale, sweeping the arms up and overhead and exhale, hands to heart center. And we'll bring our hands to our hips and we'll take that on the other side. So this time we're gonna take a giant step back with the right foot, landing on the ball of the foot. We can widen that stance a little bit if we need a little extra balance. We'll take a deep bend into the front knee. Again, checking to see that the knee hasn't gone past the ankle. If it has, we'll scooch that back foot back a little bit. Press the back of the knee up towards the ceiling and feel that left femur pulling in towards the hip socket. 
and the hips are square towards the front of your mat. So your right hip is moving forward, left hip is pulling back. Shoulders are moving away from the ears. And we sweep the arms forward. We'll release the hands to the hips. Straighten into that front knee. And we'll take a bend and we'll straighten. And we'll bend and straighten. And one more time, we take a deep bend into the knee. This time we'll sweep the left arm back, the right arm forward, taking our twist on this side. Keep pressing that back knee up towards the ceiling. Sweeping both arms forward, hands to our hips, and we step the back foot up to meet the front. And one more time. We're gonna take a deep bend in the knees, releasing the fingertips to the floor, sinking the hips back, weight in the heels, belly is engaged. We sweep the arms forward. Maybe we bring our hands to heart center. We come back up to standing. Give those legs a little shake, a little wiggle. All right, we'll set ourselves back up in our mountain pose. So our feet are gonna be that fist width distance apart. Everything is engaged, legs are active, belly is strong. Shoulder blades are together and down the back. Hands to the hips. This time we're gonna take a giant step back with the left foot. We're gonna release the heel to the mat. And the toes are gonna be at about a 45 degree angle. And we wanna feel our hips facing the front left corner of the mat. And you can always scooch that right foot over towards the edge of the mat just a little bit. Then we'll take a deep bend into the front knee. And again, we're gonna to check to see that that knee hasn't gone past the ankle. So we can scooch that back foot back a little bit if we need to. And we wanna feel the left hip coming forward, right hip coming back, and really feeling the femur pulling back into the hip socket. And the outer edge of your thigh should be parallel to the edge of your mat. Keeping the lower body where it is, we're gonna open the heart up to the side wall and extend the arms out to the side. And you wanna to try to keep your arms level so we're not tipping. We'll bring the gaze out over the front middle finger. Keep bending deeply into the front knee. The gaze can come out over the front finger. And we wanna to try to feel the rib cage rolling around the spine a little bit. So we wanna feel the right ribs coming forward and the left ribs pulling back. Begin to reach the fingertips forward, 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 and we'll release the forearm to the thigh. We can bring our left hand to the hip. Maybe the fingertips come towards the ceiling, palm face forward. Or maybe we sweep the arm over the ear, coming into that utita shape. And feeling those ribs rolling around the spine. So the right ribs are rolling under, left ribs are rolling back. Release the hand to the hip. Come back up, stacking the heart over the hips. Step the back foot up to meet the front. And let's just take a wide stance here. So we'll walk our feet out wide. Toes will be slightly in, heels slightly out. You might want your block handy for this to bring the floor a little bit closer. The belly is engaged, that pelvic bowl is rolling forward. Navel's pulling to the spine, keeping the spine nice and long and a soft bend in the knees. We'll begin to hinge forward. When you feel the spine begin to round, you've gone far enough so we can release our hands to the blocks, maybe to the legs or thighs, or maybe we bring the fingertips to the earth. And we let the crown move 
towards the earth, the head hanging heavy. And bring the hands back to the hips or maybe using the legs as support. We bring ourselves back up. Step the back foot up to meet the front. And we'll take that on the other side. So let's have those feet hip width distance apart. And we're going to take a giant step back with the right foot. Releasing the heel to the mat and the foot's at the 45 degree angle. And this time we want to feel our hips moving towards the front right corner of the mat. So the right hip is moving forward, left hip is moving back. We'll take a deep bend into that front knee, scooching our back foot back a little bit if we need to, checking that the knee is over the ankle, feeling the left femur pulling back into the hip socket. We're gonna open the heart up towards the side wall, reaching the arms out, bringing the gaze over the front middle finger. We're gonna feel those ribs rolling around the spine again. So the left ribs are rolling forward, Right ribs are rolling back. The lower body is staying right where it is. And the knee is pressing out towards the edge of your mat so it's not collapsing in. Let's reach those left fingers forward. Release the forearm to the thigh. Again, the hand can come to the hip. You can reach for the ceiling, palm face forward. We bring the arm over the ear coming into that utita shape. Let's release the hand to the hip. Stack the head over the heart, the heart over the hips. Come back up to standing. Step the back foot up to meet the front. And this time we'll just walk our feet as wide as our yoga mat. Again, standing up nice and tall, shoulder blades are together and down the back. Soft bend in the knees. We'll begin to hinge forward. And maybe this time we clasp opposite elbows, allowing our head to hang heavy, taking a few sways from side to side. Release our fingertips to the floor. Keep a soft bend in the knees. Inhale, we sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, we're doing great so far. So we're gonna keep our feet in that mountain pose. Legs are engaged. Let's double check that the belly is nice and strong, navel pulling to the spine. The shoulder blades are together and down the back. And this time we're gonna externally rotate that right shoulder so that the pinky finger is facing forward and the thumb is facing back and the palm or the back of the hand is facing the thigh. And we're going to reach that right arm back like we're trying to shake hands with someone behind us. And we're going to feel the weight in our left foot and come up onto the tiptoes of our right. Reaching the left arm up Bicep in line with the ear, reaching for the ceiling, feeling the spine nice and long. We're going to bring the toes off the mat, lifting the heel up towards the sit bones, and see if we can make a connection with the foot. So we're going to grab the big toe side of the foot. The thumb is near the big toe mound. And the knee is moving in towards the midline. You want to feel your right hip pressing forward, left hip pressing back. We're gonna to begin to kick the foot into the hand, lifting the heel up towards the ceiling. If you get a little wobbly like I am, that's just fine. We just check out the uncertainty, see if we can find some growth here. We'll continue kicking the hand into the foot. As you naturally begin to hinge forward slightly, the sternum continues to lift. We'll release the bind, bring the hands together in front of the heart, and close the eyes for a moment.
Okay, let's try that on the other side. So this time we're gonna come into um, our mountain pose again. And we're gonna externally rotate the left hand so the pinky finger is forward, thumb is back. And we're gonna reach that arm back behind like we're trying to shake hands. We're gonna come put the weight into our right foot, come up onto the tiptoes of the left. And we'll reach that right arm up, bicep in line with the ear, really reaching tall. We're gonna to begin to lift the toes off the floor, kicking the heel up towards the sits bones and seeing if we can make a connection with the foot. Really grounding down through the right foot. We're gonna to begin to lift the foot up towards the ceiling. The knee is dropping in towards midline. And begin to kick the foot into the hand. Really reaching tall, sternum is lifting. We'll gently release the bind. Both feet come to the floor, hands together in front of the heart. Let's give those legs a little shake. Nice job. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, we'll fold. Let's just keep a nice bend in the knees. We're gonna walk the hands forward, stepping the feet back. And we'll slowly release the knees to the mat. We'll walk ourselves around so we can come into a comfortable seated position. We may want to use that little blanket again or a little cushion. And we'll bring those arms back out into that cactus shape. Bring the elbow, forearm, palms together. And this time we're going to sweep the right bicep underneath the left, taking that eagle shape with our arms. So our palms are gonna to come together. And if this doesn't work for your shoulders, it's perfectly fine just to keep the elbows, forearms, and palms together. Either way, we're pressing the elbows up towards the ceiling and the forearms towards the wall in front of us. So we can feel that nice stretch between the shoulder blades. We'll unwind, we'll take the bind on the opposite side. So the left arm will come underneath the right. Elbows are pressing up, forearms are moving forward. But the shoulders are moving away from the ears. And let's unwind. We'll release the fingertips to the earth. We're gonna sweep our feet around so we can plant the feet on the mat. And we're gonna take a modified boat pose. I still like to use the blanket a little bit. I feel like it's a little cushion for the tailbone. So feel free if you'd like to do that as well. And we'll plant the feet on the floor about hip width distance apart. And feeling the big toes and the pinky toe side planting into the mat. The spine is nice and long, the belly is engaged. We're gonna put the hands down onto the mat so that we can bend into the elbows and begin to hinge back. We wanna create a 90 degree ankle be angle between the thighs and the torso. Belly stays strong. We can lift our right foot up so the lower leg is parallel with our mat and then maybe the left foot joins. And we can stay right here with the support of our hands Maybe we reach the arms forward. And we'll breathe. One, two, three. Release the hands to the mat, the right foot, and then the left. For using our blanket, we can scooch that off to the side. We'll scooch ourselves up towards the center of our mat and then just slowly lower ourselves down. We can keep our left knee bent, foot on the floor, and we'll hug the right knee in close to the body. Maybe we take a few circles with the leg, 
Moving in one direction. And then we'll reverse, going in the opposite direction. And maybe we take a half happy baby, take a bind of the ankle or the foot, pressing the foot up towards the ceiling, gently pulling the knee towards the armpit. We'll release the bind, cross the right ankle over the left knee. And we wanna feel that right knee pressing forward, flexing into the foot. We can stay right here, or perhaps we lift the left foot off the floor, interlace the fingers behind the thigh. Both feet are flexed. And maybe we straighten into the left leg. If there's any pinching at all in the low back, we're gonna return the left foot to the floor. Maybe we use the elbow or the hand to gently press the right knee forward. We'll bend back into the left knee, releasing the foot to the floor. Let's cross the right knee over the left. We'll bring those arms out to a cactus or a T-shape. Lift and shift the hips over to the right and drop both knees to the left. And we can gaze up towards the ceiling or perhaps we bring our gaze over to the right. We'll come back through center, shifting the hips back to the center of the mat, arms back down by the side. We'll keep the right foot planted, hugging the left knee in, and taking those circles on this side. First in one direction, and then reversing and going in the other direction. Maybe we take that half happy baby on this side, clasping the ankle on the bottom of the foot, pressing the foot up towards the ceiling and the knee down towards the armpit. We'll cross the left ankle over the right knee, pressing that left knee forward, flexing into the foot. Maybe we interlace the hands behind the thigh, bringing the right foot off the floor. Both feet are flexed. Maybe we extend the right foot towards the ceiling. Gently pressing the left knee forward. Again, if there's any pinching in the low back, we're gonna release the right foot back to the floor. We'll release the foot to the floor. Cross the left knee over the right. Lift and shift the hips over to the left, bringing those arms out to a cactus or a T. We'll let both knees drop over to the right. Again, the gaze can stay up towards the ceiling or we bring it out over the left fingers. And we come back through center, planting the feet on the floor, bringing the hips back to the center of the mat. Give ourselves a little hug here. Chin to chest, forehead to the knees. Let's release the head back down to the mat, both feet to the floor. The knees are gonna stay bent. This time we'll hug the right knee in, we'll interlace the fingers behind the thigh, straightening into the leg. You can keep the left knee bent with the foot on the floor. We can keep a soft bend in that right knee if that's more comfortable for you. Or maybe we extend the left leg long.
Bend back into both knees. Release both feet to the floor. Bring that left leg in, interlacing the hands behind the thigh, extending the foot up towards the ceiling, flexing into the foot. Keeping the right leg where it is, or maybe we extend it out. We'll bend back into both knees, plant the feet on the floor. Let's take that full body stretch, extending the legs long, arms overhead, feeling some length in the spine, reaching out through the fingers and the toes. And bring our hands back down to our sides. We'll begin to let the body rest heavily into the mat, feeling supported by the earth beneath us. The shoulder blades come together underneath the body. We can leave the hands resting comfortably on the mat, or maybe we bring the right hand to the belly, left hand to the heart. And we'll close our eyes. Allow our breath to come back to our natural rhythm of breathing. And we'll rest in Shavasana. You're welcome to stay here for as long as you like. Or maybe we start to bring our awareness back into the room. Wiggle the toes and the fingers, finding a little movement. The ankles and the wrists. moving into the body in any way that feels good for you right now. And when you're ready, we'll gently roll over onto the right side. Press ourselves back up into a seated position. Let's bring the hands together in front of the heart and gently close the eyes. Live in the uncertainties, my dear. Invent little moments inside those maybes and grow there. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. It's been an honor to guide you through your practice. May you be happy. May you be well. May you be safe. May you be peaceful and at ease. Namaste.